Hey everybody, so we do these walkthroughs and often we're looking at the finished side of things where you know, you're seeing all the pretty presentation that we put a lot of work into, but I thought with spring coming up, especially a warm weekend, or warm week after this coming weekend, I kind of give you a preview of some of the stuff that we're doing, kind of behind the scenes of what we do here at Groovy Plants Ranch. Put a ton of work into this every year, and thankfully we have dedicated customers that come to us year after year for these plants. But this is really a passion of mine, a passion of ours, and we put a lot of time into picking out these plants for every spring and try to have a unique mix of plants that get people excited and just things that we really love. We, we love being able to bring them to the market. So let's walk through some of our growing houses today. And we're only about halfway done planting, but you're going to see a lot of plant material. And hopefully it warms you up a little bit, gets you thinking about spring, and hopefully is exciting as well. So first up, popular plant every year is our different passion vines. And they are off to a great start. You can see they're really starting to move. These will get trellised here very soon. This year we're doing three different varieties, but most exciting is this block over here. These are edible passion vines. Now they're not winter hardy, but they will produce the edible passion fruit, which I think one thing we're trying to do this year is more unique edible plants, even if they need to be, say, overwintered in a garage. These are plants you really can't get anywhere near here. So we thought it'd be fun to do some things like this. We're doing some really unique figs, um, even Cavendish bananas. They haven't been planted yet. But on the banana note, many of you may have pre-ordered your bananas. They are off to an amazing start, just getting going. Here's a nice big one right here. And they are rooting through very nicely already roots to the bottom of the pot so taking good care of your plants we're growing them out and we may be able to do a second release on those so if you're waiting on them just keep your eye out i'm watching my numbers i want to make sure we do it right but that is the perennial hardy banana you can grow it in ohio so this is a little bit messy back here but go figure i mean we work with potting soil dirt all the time uh, but this is kind of our planting area and our planting machine. We need a name for it. This thing is amazing. So this makes our job so much easier and this is how it works. Put the pots in, they get filled, they come out here, we plant them up, we move them to the growing houses, which is where we're going next. So here we are in one of our cold frames. These, we still call them greenhouses, but it's one of our smaller greenhouses. And you can see this greenhouse is packed to the gills with plants and maybe not as flashy or as exciting as uh, philodendrons, but I'm super passionate about my perennials. So Craig and I primarily put a ton of time every year into picking and planning ahead and propagating for our perennial production season. And this greenhouse illustrates the diversity. Uh, last count, we were well over 500 varieties of perennials. And in here, it's just an assortment of different plants. We have some exciting yarrow, a number of nice natives. We have ice plants and Lewisia and sedums galore. Uh, I love my sedums, you know, I like succulents, and we do a lot of sedums. Um, columbine, just a bunch of great stuff in here. Our Gallardia for next for this coming spring is doing very well. Actually, I haven't checked these in a while. But this is kind of what we do on a day-to-day. -day. We'll come through, we'll check our crops, we'll see how they're rooting. So this is doing very well by the end of next week. This will be outside hardening off. Actually, before it ever moves outside, we'll shut this greenhouse off and we'll chill these plants down to freezing over a few days. And then they get moved right out on the table so they don't go back in. So that's how we do it. You can see we use every inch of space to be as efficient as possible. And yeah, a bunch of good stuff through here. We have our delphiniums going, different coral bells, and we're gonna see a lot more. Here we are in another one of our perennial huts. We're going to do this a few times. And you can see things at all stages of development just growing on or just coming out of dormancy. Fox gloves looking great. We have some very, very nice varieties this year. This is Candy Mountain. Pink and orange flowers. Nice, healthy plants. And they go all the way back. Back here in particular, well, first up, our crop of Oriental poppies great this year. They're going to go quick, so if you're into oriental poppies, um, you'll want to grab these up as soon as they hit the floor, but they are looking really nice, and there's some good varieties here. Rhubarb just pushing its growth. 
and then all these great coral bells. Now we have a bunch outside that are already for sale, but this is our second round. So we stage things so that we always have plants available. And then bleeding hearts too, getting very nice size to them. In another couple weeks, these will be hardened off and nice big plants. This is the gold heart, gold foliage with the pink flowers. Here we are in another one of our houses. So obviously we're growing a lot of perennials. We're not done yet either, but amazing stuff in here. Again, so full, you can barely walk. Lupins are looking great. We're already getting light color on some things. This house is getting turned off and chilled uh, right at the beginning of the next week, probably Sunday. We see these aristomum already showing light color. So pretty soon those will be out on the tables. That's one of the earliest bloomers. Nice long bloom season. Here's our perennial four leaf clover, just in time for St. Patty's Day. There's your four leaves right there. And then beautiful stuff like Scotch moss, which is actually a perennial, not a true moss, just looks like it. And then many of our little dianthus are already starting to crack color too. Now once these chill, it'll pretty much stop them in their tracks. And then once we warm up again, they'll start blooming heavy again. So this is still partially a construction site. But here's our new greenhouses. These are brand new quantas. There's four like this. So we haven't even been in any of them yet. This is all brand new. And in here, this unbelievably cool plants. Bunch of great stuff. This is the last, last greenhouse that we got planted. So most of it is still fairly small, but things like chick charms, the gold nugget, a whole crop of really nice strawberries just waking up. In our biodegradable pots, we're excited about these. So you can pull the bottom right off, plant the whole thing right in your garden. All of our tomatoes and peppers will be planted that way as well. Hardy kiwis with both male and female in the same pot. That keeps things easy. A nice crop of eucalyptus down here on the aisle. Citronella geraniums, all citronella geraniums. Young plants just getting going. It may not look like much now, but all different kinds of figs, a couple hardy figs, a couple non-hardy figs. Um, my one I'm, favorite, uh, I'm excited about is Violet de Bordeaux. Uh, it's a really purple fig. So those are exciting too. Probably take about two years to get fruit on them, but totally worth it in my opinion. And finally, here we are in um, our current house that we're filling. We're actually filling it up as we speak. You can see it's still a construction site, but that's not stopping us. We are gearing up for spring. We have so much more coming. This is about half of what we're doing in terms of perennials. And we haven't even started planting our herbs and veggies yet. Those are all still in seed trays. So spring is coming. We're excited. I was happy to take you on a quick walk. We even have more greenhouses. But we can't do this all day. So start thinking about spring. It's going to be a good one here at Groovy Plants Ranch. Best yet. That's what I predict.